Hello guys, uh, this video is about uh, deploying Docker images uh, to AWS and how to run containers on AWS. Uh, I'll be discussing um, uh, Docker, uh, how to create uh, identity access management users to, uh, uh, to get the images from the registry, ECR, uh, Elastic Container Registry, and uh, run containers. Um, how to create a cluster on AWS, uh, how to set up a registry uh, and a task definition and finally uh, running uh, images on AWS. So first though for Docker setup, um, I, would highly, I would highly recommend you go through uh, my uh, blog post uh, on my blog aiaddicted.com. I'll be adding a link uh, in description. Um, go over the post there just to have an idea uh, if you're already familiar with docker and if you know docker uh, you don't need to do that uh, so first thing you want to do is you uh, just go through this link uh, here uh, docs.docker.com install and make sure you have docker all set up and uh, working uh, correctly um, once you have that uh, now let's go to AWS console. So once you're in console, uh, let's go to security right here uh, and uh, click on uh, IAM. So now we need to set up a user who has access to ECR, uh, 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 Elastic Container Registry, so we can push our images from our local machine, local Docker machine, to the registry on AWS. Uh, so click on uh, users, add user. Um, let's do Docker registry user. And we want to give this user uh, programmatic access. So check that click next and we will we want to attach a uh, existing policy directly to this user so he needs to this user needs to have uh, policy EC2 container registry power user so provides full access to uh, Amazon EC2 container. Uh, that's the policy we need uh, for this user. Uh, next, add tags uh, if you want. And then uh, create user. So now we have this user. Uh, we need to, uh, we need uh, this access key and we need uh, this secret access key. We will we'll be using these two to uh, to actually push our Docker image to AWS registry. Uh, so for that, for this, you need AWS CLI. We'll be logging in from uh, your terminal and providing your access key, your secret access key, uh, and your region and the data format. And uh, you once you provide that, uh, then uh, you do a Docker build and you tag your image, and then finally you push your image to Docker registry. Uh, so next, uh, next let's go to AWS console. Now we'll be setting up a, a cluster uh, for our ECS. Uh, so let's go to compute. Uh, click on uh, ECS. Once you're in ECS, click on uh, clusters and then uh, create cluster. Once, once you're here, you'll have three options as you can see. Uh, f for me, I'm, uh, my Docker is in Linux, so I'm going to select uh, this option here. I don't think Fargate is in a free tier. Uh, so the thing with this is it's going to create uh, all of this it's going to create a cluster for you it's going to create a vpc for you and the subnet and the auto scale groups it does a lot of work for you um, okay select this then click next 
let's give a name um, Cygnus cluster uh, and then uh, I'm gonna leave this on demand instance you can also change it to spot instances which is cheaper so right now I have a I'm in a free time a free tier uh, I'm gonna select uh, I'm gonna select T2 micro. Uh, number of instances is uh, one. One is I think free, and I'm gonna leave everything else as is. All right, this looks good to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do create. So now it's creating the cluster for you. So basically what it's doing is it's uh, creating, a, it's running a cloud formation stack, which has a, a VPCs, a subnets, and the role. Um, as you can see, it's creating an internet gateway for your auto scaling group. Uh, so it's gonna take a few minutes. Uh, and once it's done, I'll come back. All right, guys. Now, as you can see, the cluster is uh, set up. Uh, it usually takes few minutes. Once you're done, uh, click on uh, View Cluster. Um, so now go to uh, ECS Instances. Uh, you should see here. You're going to see your ECS uh, uh, Container Instance. Uh, you're going to see EC2 Instance, underlying EC2 Instance. Uh, usually it takes a few minutes uh, to see those things uh, let's come back so once you're here click on clusters and uh, click on your cluster uh, now uh, you can see the container instance uh, in the cluster uh, and remember we said we said one instance so it's going to create one EC2 underlying EC2 instance so click on that and then it will take you to the EC2 dashboard where you can see the details of underlying EC2 instance, uh, public IP uh, and all the VPC ID uh, subnets and everything here. Um, so once you, once you set up the cluster, the next step is actually uh, pushing, uh, uh, creating a Docker image and uh, pushing it to uh, the repository uh, on the on AWS. In fact, before we do that, let's create a ECR so we can push our images. So let's go to EC2 homepage. Go to compute. Click on ECR. Uh, once you're in ECR, uh, get started. So I'm gonna call this Sinus Docker registry and create repository so now we have a EC of the registry so now we can uh, we can push our images from local docker machine to this registry so a couple of things to note here the first thing is the URI we need this URI second thing is uh, look at click on this button here view uh, push command these are the commands you'll be running uh, from your console from your terminal uh, to push your local uh, push your image to build an image and push your image uh, to AWS but before you do that uh, uh, you have to have AWS CLI uh, and uh, once you have the AWS CLI installed um, you have to type in the AWS uh, configure on the terminal. Unfortunately, I can't show you uh, how to do it because I don't have a, a screen recorder on my Linux, uh, but I'm going to explain it to you. So open your terminal, install AWS CLI. Once you have that, uh, type AWS space configure. Uh, once you have that, uh, remember the user we created in the beginning uh, with the uh, container registry power user uh, policy attached to it. Uh, put that access key and then put uh, the secret access key 
and then uh, it's going to ask you the default region put your default region mine is a uh, um, east one us east one and then uh, uh, format J uh, i usually do json uh, once you have that uh, you're logged in and everything you run this command the first one here it's gonna give you um, huge text copy and paste it in the terminal again then uh, you're logged in and then uh, you use these commands to run your image and you tag it here like uh, this command uh, and then you push it uh, so th uh, that's pretty much it guys for pushing the image uh, but uh, note though there is a uh, one tab for a Mac and Linux and one for uh, Windows all right guys as you can see from my uh, uh, screenshots i pushed my uh, docker image uh, from my docker machine to aws uh, let's go to aws console and uh, click on uh, ecr uh, click on the repository and as you can see i have an image which i pushed so now we have this image in the registry uh, we're going to start uh, deploying this so the next thing to do is create a task definition uh, for click on task definition and uh, I'm gonna create a new task definition it's, we're gonna use uh, EC2 next and then you name the task definition uh, I'm gonna call it uh, Srini Docker TSK1. Uh, I'm going to leave everything as is. Select role default default. Uh, this is a small task, so the memory is going to be 512. CPU is going to be 512. And uh, now we have to add a container to this task. So click on uh, add container, uh, container name, uh, Srini Docker container one. Uh, we need to add uh, our image thing here. So I have to go to, uh, let me, let me go back to my console, AWS, in the new tab. Um, go to ECR click on uh, my repository there so what I need is image URI from here so add that there So, so basically it's uh, your registry URL uh, namespace and the tag port mapping is important you want to map it 8080 8080 uh, that, that's because I'm using a uh, spring microservice as an uh, example the that's where I built my docker image from uh, if you looked at my blog post which I linked in the description uh, you can look at the docker file and uh, uh, see how the docker file looks like uh, once you have that I'm gonna leave everything uh, as default here this is the Manually everything as is, and then click add. Next, you create the task. So now we have the task, and we um, attach the container definition to it uh, uh, right here. So now it's time to create service. Service is the one which actually. Uh, creates a container from the image and runs it uh, so let's go to actions and create service so here again we want EC2 it already has our task definition the task we created uh, and it already has the cluster we created 
so I'm gonna call this uh, service name Srini Docker uh, service uh, I'm gonna leave everything as is that's all we need to do here and click next step uh, design number of tasks uh, one uh, pretty much each task corresponds to a, con a container so in this case I'm going to create just one step uh, I don't need this one here I'm gonna create I don't need a, a load balancing uh, for this uh, so it looks like we're good and then uh, And next step and uh, I'm gonna leave this as is for auto scaling and then the next step so this looks good uh, that's the cluster launch type is EC2 task definition looks good number of tasks one okay and the create service so now the service is created uh, you can view the service click on the service um, so now you can see it takes a uh, in a minute or two then you can see the service definition uh, so the service is running good now uh, so you can see my task is running here um, and the status is uh, running so let's go to events and uh, check here okay my service has reached a steady state and it has one task as you can see so now we have a task we have a service running uh, that's pretty much it guys um, after this we're just gonna go to the our uh, get our public IP for the EC2 instance and we're gonna check uh, everything looks good So go to clusters, click on clusters here, click on the cluster we created, and then uh, click on ECS instances, and uh, click on underlying EC2 instance, get the public IP from here, and let's verify if it's running.